Hey, you don't hear. Okay, I'm trying something. I know it's not going to work. I already tried it, but I thought I'd show just how <laughs> I had this bright idea. See, I have a camera with another phone just like this one, Alcatel A25L. I have it put in here. And the re actually, the read I've had this for a long time now, maybe, I don't know, a year. And I thought, well, I could use it. I might could use it to uh, video with because it has a window and the camera can point out of it. You can open it or close it. To, you know, to watch, you know, you're supposed to watch videos and stuff in here, but I can't look at it, it drives my eyes crazy. <clears throat> but so I thought you can film like this, but for one thing, this whole case covers up the mics and muffles it. And the other thing is, I thought, well, okay, maybe I could do this, <laughs> but guess what? Look where my uh, it won't stay for one thing. If you move it. It, it starts going down on your eyes and the other thing is it weighs way more than I remember um, but you can control it with this uh, oh it's asleep now you do have to have it awake so I guess you'd have to the only way you can wake it up is to do that get it up here I guess And once you get it awake, then you can, well, actually, I can't put it in there without it, with it on my head. I don't know what I was thinking. Put it in there. Put it on your head, and it, it hangs on your hair and everything, too. So unless you're bald-headed, <laughs> it's not very good. So now, okay, I can see everything. I can't see my remote. I don't know what button I'm on. But you can control it with the remote and get, and get the camera to come on. And then you've got to kind of fill around with this button. And I don't ever remember which one. There, that makes it record. So now I'm recording. Now I'm recording my phone. I can see where I'm aiming like that, but it, I have to close one eye or else I'll probably throw up. <laughs> but, uh, so I can see the other phone that I'm recording myself on. But my idea was to put it up here somehow, but it won't even stay, stay that way. You might be able to pull that way down or something. Okay, now it would stay for a little while, but I wanted to use it while I was working outside so it would be like a head cam, you know, kind of like a like a helmet cam, you know. But uh, it's really heavy, so I wouldn't be able to stand that even. If, and it's already, it's encroaching on my eyes, and of course you can see it's aiming way up here. There's no way that it would ever show what my hand was doing unless I was doing this. So, uh, I mean, it, it, you know, it stretches that in order to get it to even try, you'd have to aim it like that. And that's not really even possible the way it's made. So, back to the drawing board. Not, wasn't a good idea at all. Ugh. I mean, you could do that, but you can't, you can't work or function or anything like that, especially because you got to got to close one eye. I made it one or two videos like that. If you take, if you're careful and you're looking through there, you can see right where you're aiming. I mean, but it makes my eyes kind of actually it starts bothering my stomach. Did that much movement like that, moving slow, starts making my stomach feel queasy right now already. So uh, no way to do that for me. But. Uh, can't open both eyes either. I have to close my right eye because that on the right side is that uh, you know indicator showing that you're recording. If I was looking with my left eye, man, if I want to see if I can turn it off, even with the remote, I have to. Uh, I can look. I can see. I can see my hand there past the uh, you know see the remote, see what button I'm putting it on. But you can use these front buttons, but I keep forgetting which one does what. One of them uh, will just close the app, and the other one will actually turn it on and off. This one here turns it on and off, and then these others close the app. So, uh, I'm talking about, well, not, yeah, I want to turn the recording on and off. Uh, and the way I got to the right places is moving this, this uh, key here. But uh, it's kind of random. You don't see any, you know, feedback that's telling you you're on the right places. I just got to kind of try to move it around until it finally does it. Sometimes it tries to open up <coughs> another app 
in the middle of your video window too. But um, anyway, you see the light changing whenever I move my head around. Huh, my right eye actually doesn't mind it as much as my left. I'm moving around. Oh yeah, it does. It's just that I wasn't moving it right. So, uh, boy, that is the weirdest feeling ever. Well, that wasn't a great idea at all. I guess um, if you want to mount a phone on something to make a head cam, you need some. I, one thing I thought about was a, uh, I can't show it with this anyway, but uh, get this, I'm going to turn this off and get it off my head. It's really bothering me. Okay. Oh, well didn't stop it there okay it did stop it so oh yeah that's one of the worst feelings ever for me ah. so um not gonna work i already knew that well i really did know it wouldn't work i don't but I had to try it again. I had to try that. I couldn't remember. It's been a been a long time, months and months, since I had messed with this thing at all. I was still in camera mode. You got to remember to take it out of camera mode, or it will. Uh, let's see. This one takes out of camera mode. One of these other buttons there. I should have took it out of camera mode. I felt it. Yeah, it went back to the home screen. And then if you want to put it in camera mode, you can hit C. But then it won't start recording until you move this, that one around, this one here. And yeah, I have to get, oh, now it's recording. So, um, it's not a bad little holder. Makes me think. Well, see, I had one thing I've been thinking about. It just does add to the weight of the phone, though. And I think it's the top one. Yeah. No, that took it out of the camera mode. Oh, the bottom one. I'll put it in camera mode. And yep. Then you got to move your thing around until you get. And that got it into. That brought it up. So you gotta move it down to the right a little bit. Let's see. I, I can't remember top and bottom. I just cannot remember. But I can look at the ABCs on there. Which one. And now it's recording. And but you could use the top and bottom if you had a memory that could do that. But I can't. It works perfectly. I mean, especially if you could remember which buttons do what. You could actually control. I mean, I, I left this out for a long time thinking I would just use it, and I did once or twice, like, use it to start and stop your camera when it's on the tripod, and you want to get all, get yourself setting down, uh, you know, get it all lined up, set down, and then start and stop your recording, and it's good for that, uh, if you can remember how to operate it. The problem is you can't see the camera on the tripod when you're on the other side like I am right now, whether or not it was working right, so you just have to go by the sounds it makes, which you got the volume turned up, which I usually do because that's the only way you can hear the videos on your phone, then uh, uh, then it's you know it, it's usable, but it's not real dependable for me. I guess if you had a real sharp memory, like if you use ga if you're used to using these rem nunchuck remotes, whatever they're called, uh, and game pads, and you, you're you know maybe you could remember how. I never was good at game pads either. I never was good at games, period. But um, now I was thinking about uh, those shields. I don't even have one. I've been wanting to get one. But those uh, pl big plastic shields you use when you're grinding and stuff, you know, that flip up and down. I was thinking about, well, you could mount a phone right right here on one of those shields. You could even do it on a, if you're just a phone. I mean, <laughs> my forehead just clicked the phone. I heard it tap. Uh, you could, with just a phone without all this, then you could get it up inside of there, you know, and protect the phone too. But then it would be trying to take video through that plastic thing, and that would kind of really mess up the video. You could leave the phone in here, and then mount it up on your head, on your thing, 
thing is it would still well you'd have to you'd have to do it like that so that it would be hanging down to what you're doing it really would need to be adjustable of course then when you lift that thing up then your phone you know your video gets messed up and you can't those things I can't stand to wear them I've used them at work before years ago I can't stand to uh, keep them on any longer and I have to do the grinding or whatever because they, they feel heavy and they, and they just well when you're breathing on them they, they fog up and uh, I guess that's not very good either but I guess really the best thing is to I don't know if you can see that whoa but I'll take this out of here I guess really the best thing would be to figure out some lightweight thing to uh, I thought about attaching the phone to a ball cap and, uh, and then have it right here like that, aiming kind of down. The ball caps are lightweight and everything, and they could stand. They make my head hot, but I could stand them better than pretty much anything else I've thought of. But uh, maybe you could put on. A, uh, of course, they have these kind of mounts you can put on a helmet for a phone. Uh, they usually put them up there. That's too high if you work. You know, if you're trying to catch what you're doing with your hands, you need to really need to go like this that would actually work of course the movement would be too much if you move your head around in a normal way like when you're working it'd be a lot of movement and it would be too much most of the time if you wanted to be, do two or three camera shoot and do a lot of editing it would work it could work out if you're just using this on your head then uh, Oddly enough, you could do that and use the remote to start it. You'd be having to take it on and off all the time because when your phone goes to sleep, it won't work anymore. You'd have to wake it up in the normal way. And if I had it like that, then I could probably go like this. It didn't do anything. Huh. Now it didn't work. So if it doesn't work, whoops. You have to hold this down and do that to set the button that you want it to work with if you want to understand it again. Not quit working. It's making the phone do stuff, but it's not working. Oh, I know. I see. I don't know if I can show that. But uh, it took it to another screen. The only way I know to do it is to actually touch the one you want it to work on easily anyway oh that made it open up <laughs> well anyway that'll make it work and then uh, and I just kind of hunt around until it finally works see I'm going down and to the right not even doing anything right now It's not that way. Maybe it's up. See, it's very hard to not drop this thing. That doesn't want to do it. Let's put this down. It takes two hands to hang on to this thing. It's a very, very bad ergonomic way. It's very bad size for a normal hand. Even 12 year olds got hands about as big as a lot of 12 year olds have hands as big as mine. So, of course, I guess if you, I don't know. I mean, they always say, well, the country they make them in, you know, they have small hands, but not all of them do. So, I think it's more about just saving money on materials. Now it's not doing anything. It's not even responding. Now there, it went out, it went out of it. See now. Now it's, uh, it's in, uh, you get it in one mode, you'll even make the camera zoom. So which one? Bottom one? Okay. Oops.
Well, I accidentally hit the A, the ampersand. Now it's recording again. So I don't know. I accidentally hit it as simultaneously while I was hitting that. And it made it record again. Now let's see. That should stop it. It didn't stop it. I think the C did. Nope. Well, that just closes the app. And I think when you close the app, it may break the video. I'll have to look at these videos on here and see if there's a whole bunch of them that are broken. If you just close the app in the middle of the video, I might break it. It might not. I can't even remember. This is an open camera, by the way. So, I guess my present mode of just two cameras on the tripod and this one in your hand is really still the best way to do it. It's hard for me to not move too fast when I'm, you know, doing it like this, but it really, it's really probably the best thing other than, like I said, I really wish I could just mount it on my head or on my head somehow so that I can get it going and then I'm free, free to use my hands and get a close-up of what's going on, you know, because it's really hard to find a spot to set those tripods that will get a good view <coughs> of what you're doing. And if the camera's right here, then your voice will, will be good, uh, you know, because if you move it this far away, it makes a huge difference, much less up there where that is. <coughs> so, um, that one, I keep thinking I can turn that one off. If you can't connect this, to, I don't think it'll connect it, but one thing at a time. If it would do two, I'll look in there and see if it says anything about that. But if it would do two, then you could uh, turn two cameras on and off at the same time. That could be pretty useful, like like a handheld in a, in a tripod camera coming on and off at the same time. It'd still be pretty iffy because whether or not it would actually work as expected. Anyway, that's an idea. A couple of ideas. All right, now, <coughs> I'll just like to grab this one. And turn it off. I gotta turn it around so I can turn it on. Okay. Yeah, there's that little remote I was showing. Okay, this done. Bye bye.